Got that, Jim. Oh man, just another piece of dryness. It's just a searing, relentless, unforgiving heat. And it's when the farm looks at its worst because everything is gone. I just remember sitting down one day and just going, I wish I could see rain. I would give anything for to feel a cool rain. Chocolate milkshakes on tap, served all afternoon, fresh mountain infused chocolate milkshakes. Come get yours for free this winter in the Bido. Ow! What? On a bit. On a bit. On, on a bit. First. This is Jim. He's a scientist. This is Otto. He's also a scientist. But they both like to make films, mostly about me. I'm a sandfish, and my name is Onabek. Onabek Fis. I live in the Cedarburg, South Africa, the world. I've had a few problems along the way, like all my rivers drying up, an alien thing. And now only have a few friends left. But there's this really cool project that involves... Science! Boom! Water! The power powers combined. This is Saving Sandfish! On a bit first. We're heading from Cape Town up the N7. There's a storm, she's coming. The last time I was there was at the end of summer and the, and, the, and the river dries up. So hopefully now we've had some good rains, we're gonna see what that system looks like. Welcome to the Northern Cedarburg, the home of the Clan William Sandfish and the international rock climbing community. Oh my God, are those black eagles? This is uh, Traveller's Rest, which is a town on the Branavanes River. The translation is it's the Brandy River. And it's either because the colour of the water looks like brandy, or it's because the farmers in the valley enjoy brandy, or both. And then on the other side of that is the Bido. Welcome to the Bido Valley. Home to the original Robusti. In this episode of Saving Sandfish! We introduce you to the Bido Valley, and along the way, try and get a glimpse of the elusive sandfish as they move upriver to spawn. Oh my word, it's a big car. Sandfish, Meneer. Sandfish, can you tell me where the sandfish are? They said there's a whole lot of them just further down, further down the valley, starting to spawn. Sandfish! Yo, some of the locals, local knowledge, invaluable there. Long ago, there used to be mass sandfish spawning events with thousands of fish swimming up and, and spending maybe a week up here and spawning in these little riffles. There was a galitten under the sea. In the bus, freilich, hobbies. No scientist has ever seen sandfish spawning. We... It hasn't been documented. Oh, cool. And I grow up, I want to be a firefighter and save sandfish. I cannot say it enough, I even my kids even know it now, they always repeat it, water is life. If we don't have water here, we won't have 
our farm, there will be no NGO without water. I've traveled a lot and there is nothing like the Vida Valley that I've ever lived through in my life. There is something here that you cannot put to words. There is some kind of, I don't want to say magic, um, but there's some kind of force here that is unlike anything I've ever experienced. And this river is everything. And our spring is everything. It's our heart. It's an incredibly special place. Anjo is located right in the heart of the Bido Valley. Water trickles down from the Cedarberg and flows into the gorge, past the Rooibos farms and Enjo before joining the mighty Huron River. We're at like the source of the Bido River, where the water basically comes out the mountain and flows down into the gorge and then down into the valley. These pristine mountain waters are home to five species of indigenous fish, including the Clan William Redfin and the Clan William Sawfin. Dude, look at that. The most precious and sensitive invertebrate in the world. Whenever you find a stonefly, you know that the water is going to be the tastiest water you've ever drunk and it's going to be coming from the happiest river you've ever met. Although most of the Bido River dries up during summer, water flows through the gorge all year round. There are two major waterfalls that present obstacles for fish. Alien fish are found up to the lower waterfall, but aren't able to get above it. Whereas indigenous fish are found right up to the upper waterfall. Okay, this is where the waterfall is. The tributary comes in here, and there's a waterfall here, and that's like the upper limit of the fish. So on that bend, there's a waterfall, 300 meters down that way. There's another little waterfall, and that's how far up the bass go. So 900 meters is how much river these fish have got left. So this is like where the sandfish now are still safe, but it's only 900 meters of river. With all the water from recent rains traveling down the gorge and into the valley, the riffles of the Bido River were pulsing with potential. I think it's about to start raining. We've had some rain already and the river's got really good flow and we're kind of just hanging out here <laughs> waiting for the sandfish to migrate. Uh, we haven't seen any fish yet. We'll have to keep coming back until we find them. Um, I'm sure we will. I can't see any fish yet, but um, it's beautiful. I'm 
man, those submulids, they are so epic. Tiny little microscopic black flies, hands out, filter feeding, going with the flow, plants going with the flow, but it's really freezing. I'm gonna film some more, then get, get out again. Jim has just been getting super aquatic, getting some amazing underwater visuals. Are there any rusks left? So many I rusks. need something warm in my belly. My intestines are frozen. Dude, that top rapid is insane. It's so beautiful. I think that's probably like a spawning, that's probably a spawning site. We've got to come back here when it's like warmer than 10 degrees Celsius. For a place that's pretty dry, the Bido River Valley's chewed us up and spat us out in a rainstorm, like, um, pretty gnarly. And no fish, but it's been super fun and yeah, we're out of here. <laughs> Although we didn't find any spawning sandfish, a few months later, the pools of the Bido River were filled with thousands of young sandfish. This made us even more determined to come back the following year to give the spawning another shot. No longer a need for a wetsuit or goggles or underwater housing because it is dry. No, still nothing. What is it going to take to find a sandfish in the Bido River? It's just sand, it's just grass, but in a few months time the rain will fall again and the first flows will start moving down through these riffles, start inundating them, and the river food web will slowly start up again, kickstart into action, and hopefully fish will return. This is definitely, well, almost certainly, well, it could be a spawning riffle. We'll come back and see. <clears throat> It begins at the beginning of the valley and it moves slowly. The water, Afrikaans is a wonderful term. They say, the water loop, which is very more, much more evocative of flowing. It's the water walks and you can actually envisage it slowly, step by step, making its way through the valley. It's, it's beautiful. So the rains came and it had reached our neighbor 
and we once it reaches our neighbor it takes about a day to get to us that's how slow it moves it's not like a massive um you know onslaught and gushing of water it's just a slow progression and it's very um it's beautiful to watch so and this it's almost like the river has its own life because it it's it knows where it wants to go. You can't tell it what to do or where to go. It knows exactly where it's going to go. It has a mind of its own. And all you can do is sit and watch it. And it's just, it's, it's such a welcome sight. And it's almost like it's happy to see you. <laughs> and you're happy to see it. So that's, you know, it's, it's really silly, but it's wonderful. On the next episode of Saving Sandfish, we return to the Beto River Valley during springtime to continue the search for spawning sandfish. On a breakfast. I like that as an upcomer with next a cup magic sick and as a let's a cup as a up and let's just plant green peas when that must know all air kids relate. If you'd like to keep following our wild quest to find spawning sandfish, make sure to subscribe below.